Hey guys, today I'm going to be making these Betty Crocker pumpkin bars. They're limited edition. We got these at uh, Meyer. I put my stick on upside down. We got these at Meyer for $2.29, so that's not bad. Um, and they have, you see the picture, they've got frosting on the top. That is actually uh, Betty Crocker cream cheese frosting. So it recommends you try it. So we're going to, we're going to put it on there. Any way you can add more calories to something is always good for me. These are, if um, prepared, 1 16th of the package is 170 calories. So, wow, you just have to do the bars, wouldn't you? Um, so what we need is our oven's on 350 degrees. You, I'm doing an eight by eight cake pan, or we call them brownie pans around here. Um, you want your 350 oven, uh, we're gonna grease the bottom, and then we're gonna stir in the baking mix, one stick of melted butter, and just one egg. That's all it takes. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So I'm gonna use scissors. press it into the bottom of the pan, press dough evenly in the pan, and you're gonna bake for 26 to 29 minutes for an eight by eight. So what do you think, split in a half, we could do like 27 or so. So I'm just gonna basically, I'm, I'm doing chunks, cause I don't want it to all be in the middle and then you have to fight to spread it out. And truth be told, I'm gonna use my hands, honestly. There's a reason you got fingers, right? And that's for baking. That's why you got fingers. And you can feel kind of how thick areas are with your hands that you couldn't do with a spoon. And I know that I'm pretty even except over here. So I am going to get these in the oven for, again, 27 minutes, and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, here they are out of the oven. They were in there exactly 27 minutes, and they came out. They're good and brown on the outsides. Uh, they look perfect. So uh, we're going to let these cool off completely before you frost them, because if you don't, they'll just melt, and you won't be getting any frosting on them at all. So we're going to let them cool off completely, then we'll, then we'll try them out. Okay, it's cooled off completely, and Tammy just pop, literally popped right out of there, didn't it? Yeah, I just flipped it out and... Um, put it on a cutting board. Yeah, I put it on a cutting board because I want to cut it into bars and then uh, then let Kevin take them to work. Yeah, and, and we'll try some too. But yeah, we'll try it, but I, I want you to be able to take pre-cut bars to work. Right. We have our pumpkin bars. I didn't even think to try it without the frosting because that's what it recommends. But we probably should have, shouldn't we? I don't think you can get rid of it in the oven. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I haven't tasted spice better than that anyway. Yes, that has a very, a very nice pumpkin spice flavor. Yeah, I can taste the frosting and the spice. Yes. What would you think that would be? clove and not clove but um or ginger 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 and cinnamon you know if i have some nutmeg i don't know what was a pumpkin spice i don't know mm. no tell it is a good flavor though and i like the texture the texture is like a it's like a really big cookie honestly it's a, it like really a soft is cookie that is delicious mm -hmm. really i good. don't think if you're gonna have make these bars the frosting doesn't come with it but I really don't think, usually when you have, I don't know, a lot of bars do come unfrosted. But just for these, 
I don't know. I think they would probably be good without the frosting, but I do like them with the frosting. I just frosted it all. I didn't think about leaving mm. any of it naked. <laughs> I rake the frosting off. It's yep. not bad, but it's not sweet. Of right, course. of course. <laughs> um, but it's more just a spice, like a spicy pumpkin bread instead of a bar like that's sweet without mm -hmm. the without the frosting on. Mm -hmm. I would eat it with the frosting. It's good that way. You like it better with? I like it better with the frosting. There you go. Of course it adds 100 calories to that. Well, they were very easy to make. You saw what he had to do. Oh yeah, super easy. Just uh, butter an egg and mix it up, put it in a pan and bake it. That's it. So very, very easy. You could even um, bake them in one of those pans that you just give Go away. On. Here, take it. <laughs> that way you don't even have to worry about any dishes. So very, um, very, very simple. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, there will be a picture at the end and thanks for watching.